Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. We're at the University of Portland in the Clark Library. So glad you're with us. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, in the next 20 years in the Tri-County area, the number of those age 65 and over will double. How are we going to handle the change? Well, we welcome Leslie Foran. She's Executive Director of Elders in Action. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We have the greatest generation. We have baby boomers and Gen X. Let's start with the greatest generation. 55 years old, you're ready for the retirement home? Is that, that's how it used to be? Well, it used to be where people had a pension and a stable retirement and retired after working 25 years or 30 years with one organization or company. Mm -hmm. And then they went into retirement. And um, people can only play golf or tennis for so long and then they want to do something more. And the way that the baby boomers are demanding um, retirement or having to work longer, mm -hmm. um, we're having to change our way that we have that next stage in our life. So how has life dynamic changed from the greatest generation of the baby boomers? Um, more active uh, later in life? Absolutely, and that can be forced activity because they've had to, um, they've weathered an economic storm and so they have to work longer in order to, to live a lifestyle that they've become accustomed to or they also have more interest in healthy and active engaged lifestyles. Mm -hmm. So they're out hiking, they're out um, traveling and doing volunteerism and they're engaged with their community. It's a little bit different structure that the baby boomers want in their next stage of life. So how does Elders in Action help? Well, we are an organization that's been around for 45 years, and really what we do is we work to empower and engage older adults. So we have two types of roles in the community. So we know there are elders in our community that need help, mm -hmm. and so we have those services where we can help people if they need help getting connected to resources or they need help um, filling out forms or navigating a system. We can certainly help those older adults and I would say maybe the average age of our clientele is probably 70 years and older. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a component that we're all volunteer-driven organization. We have a small staff and we have about 180 volunteers. And most of those volunteers are boomers themselves who want to give back and become engaged in their community. So there's that peer-to-peer -peer volunteer engagement that happens. So we have meaningful opportunities for people to get involved with so they stay active and stay engaged. Do you deal in the now or do you look toward the future to see how things might, you know, trends, things might be changing uh, for the next generation? Absolutely. So we're always looking with the work that we do with our advocacy, with our city and county officials, as well as our legislature. We're looking at it with an age-friendly lens. Things that they can do when they're building a new housing development mm -hmm. or when they're building the downtown transit system. How can we look at that that makes it age-friendly for all Portland how can we look at that what is good for older adults is also good for young mothers with a baby stroller? And so we're looking at the future. When we go into the future, are we, are we ready to meet the needs of this boom that's coming, the tsunami, if you will? And then we also deal with the immediate, you know, the immediate. If people are having challenges and they need help, we want to make sure that we can get them the help that they need. All right, and how do people get a hold of you? Uh, your, your website, eldersinaction.org? Absolutely, and we have a great Facebook presence, so people can look us up there. Um, we have Twitter. Do you find a lot of those people are on Facebook and Twitter? We do. The fastest grow One of the fastest growing demographics of Facebook is the 55 plus. Yeah. So we do. We find that a lot of our social media outlets are a great way to reach boomers particularly. I can't wait till I get my first tweet from grandma. <laughs> yes. Anyway, thank you very much. Leslie Foreman, we appreciate it. Thank you very much for being with us on Comcast Newsmakers. For the crew here, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.